Hey, what's happening? Good one, Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I have another haul video to share with you guys. The last time I did one of these was about a week and a half ago, which was like a GameStop haul video to show you guys a lot of the items that I got on clearance, except for about three of the items, of course. Uh, this particular haul video has a theme to it as well. This one is more of an Assassin's Creed with Disney's Infinity that I wanted to share with you guys just to kind of have it all in one video because overall, I think this was a really nice pickup and you actually be surprised how much I paid in total compared it to one item that I picked up at Disneyland, which I'll share towards the end of this video. So before we get started, I do want to say thank you guys who've tuned into the PlayStation VR one week later video that's actually surpassed over 11,000 views, which may not be a lot for some people, but for me, that's a lot to kind of see a video do so well, which I do appreciate the positive feedback on that. I do have some codes here. Uh, I'm pretty sure these have yet to be claimed because I haven't claimed them myself and these are games that I don't play. And of course, two games of which I've already owned as well. Uh, but these came with the Overwatch Collector's Edition, but this one is a hero for uh, Heroes of the Storm. So there's that one. This one has three codes on it and this is for a free card pack for the Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. And of course, do keep in mind that if you tune into this video right as it uploaded and you can't read those, just wait for the HD option of the video to proceed, or process, I should say. This is a guest pass to try out the StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. Really fun game if you have a PC. And of course, this is a guest pass for anyone who plays World of Warcraft. So there you guys go. Enjoy those codes. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the Assassin's Creed haul first because I love Assassin's Creed and I have a, uh, I would say an okay or decent amount of collectibles already in my collection and I don't always buy the items brand new. Oftentimes I'll wait for the most part, except for the games, I always get the games when they come out. But for merchandise like collectibles and toys and stuff like that, I often wait to I could get a really good deal on it, which is where I got most of this stuff. This is actually came from the GameStop's website page, their online clearance deal, I should say, because I can't find these in store. Um, so the first one that I have here, we're actually gonna start with the action figures. This one is the Arno figure with his Assassin's Creed uh, Master, the uh, Master Assassin outfit, I should say. I already have him out of the box because uh, these items came with like three different shipments. But there is the first one there. So again, that is the Arno and his uh, Master Assassin outfit. Not too bad of a figure. Uh, the face detail, eh, not too much, but... For these, I basically pay like a couple dollars. Actually, everything in this box except for one item, I pay basically two dollars for, and this one right here. Uh, the the next item here is another Arno figure, but this one is his Eagle Vision outfit, where he's basically all blue. So there you guys go. And one more figurine, which is Shea Carmack from Assassin's Creed Rogue, which I would love for them to bring this game to uh, current gen consoles. Uh, but this is him and his Templar outfit. So a pretty cool character, and I really like the detail of this uh, figure. It actually looks really, really good. So that's that. The next item, which is a little bit more expensive than those, this was about $5, so half off its original price, which is a pop figure. This one is of Evie Frey. Uh, since I've already had Jacob, I've only needed Evie, so uh, to, to this to the side. She's actually right here. She's pretty much top heavy because she has a skinny little body for a pop figure. Uh, one thing I did notice is that if you tilt her to the side and turn her head, she'll actually stand up perfectly fine because the ba she balances on her cane, so uh, I thought that was weird. And there is her brother, Jacob, which I've already had. So there's that. Now, the only item here out of the Assassin's Creed haul that wasn't on clearance, because these are technically new, is um, these things right here. I actually showcased a couple of these in the uh, GameStop haul video, but these are from uh, the color top lines from the McFar McFarlane line, which are highly detailed figures. They're not like the your standard action figures like these are these are more like ones that come in they could only go in one way in terms of posing they come with a stand with a name on it but this one i found right here this is the first of the assassin's creed land actually this one's considered number five out of eight and this one of course is of connor 
Now the newest one was supposed to come out today, which is from the Assassin's Creed movie, but unfortunately there's no shipments that arrived at my local store, so I have to wait on that one. But there he is. So really, really cool. And the color top figures are about $20 each. They have a Walking Dead series, which has already been finished, I'm pretty sure. But right now I'm only collecting for like the Assassin's Creed, Titanfall 2, and the Gears of War set, which uh, most of the other ones don't come out until like uh, early next year. And of course, last but not least, we have these Dorbs figure, which are basically like a little adorable version of characters. They have like a bunch of different sets like Marvel, um, DC Universe, Assassin's Creed, which I have the entire Assassin's Creed line in this box, which is a total of six characters. So the first one we have Jacob. Uh, yep, right here, Jacob. And there he is. So that's one. Uh, next up we have Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. And this is the entire set right here. Next up for number three, this one is Arno. Then we have Elise. And the last two we have Altair. This one's actually a hard one to find. Oh, unless if you get it off Amazon, but if you're trying to find it in store, that's actually pretty hard to find. And the last one that we have, of course, we have Kinway. I mean, Edward Kinway, I should say, from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Actually has the full beard going on. He actually looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, but these are pretty cool. And uh, again, these were extremely cheap. Got these off GameStop.com. So overall, pretty good deal. And I managed to get the entire set. Normally, those things, the dwarves actually go for. I think they're eight dollars new, uh, eight to ten, depending on where you get it from. So pretty good deal on savings. Now the next next items I want to go ahead and share with you guys are from the Disney's Infinity line. And um, there was a couple of different cells where I got these from. The first one, which are currently in box right now, which I just got today. I was over at Toys R Us because I was trying to find the, the second Assassin's Creed uh, figure that came out for color tops. Went over to the toy section, uh, the interactive toys, I should say. And there was a big sign for Disney's Infinity, which was basically buy one and you get three for free. And I was like... Alrighty then, and I really like the figures and stuff because I didn't have many of them to begin with and you know Especially if you're trying to get these brand new that's very expensive So buy one get three free happy about that So I picked up a set from the Star Wars Rebels line. So here is that Right here So first off we have Kanan from Star Wars Rebels There he is. And then we have his Padawan, known as Ezra. Next up, we have Zeb. Followed by Sabine. She's actually a pretty cool figure, and I really like her character in the show. So those are the ones that I got at Toys R Us. And this next wave here I got over at GameStop. GameStop also has something similar to what Toys R Us is doing, except instead of new figures, it's their pre-owned section. And it's basically, I think it was a buy two and you get three for free, uh, which basically the pre-owned section, the figures themselves are like under $10 for the most part. Actually, a lot of them are even $5. So not too bad, but these are the ones that I got from over there. You're going to notice that there's going to be two that are not currently in this pile because I gave to my little brother because I couldn't find any other ones I want that was going to be for free. So I give those to him, which was like an Iron Man. And um, I forget what the other figure was, but here's this. 
of course we have experiment 626 also known as stitch there's that one one of my favorite characters then we have a couple from the Pirates of the Caribbean line. We have Captain Jack Sparrow. And then we have Captain Barbosa. And then to continue the Star Wars trend, I should say, we have some other Star Wars figures. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with, uh, from the Rebel Alliance, we have Yoda, Jedi Master. Looks really, really good, to be honest. I don't, I don't recall if this is one of those light-up ones, or I don't know if they had a light-up version. I know that some had a light-up feature, others did not. Um, then, starting from the uh, Sith, of course, uh, we have Darth Vader. Followed by Darth Maul. And the next character here from the Star Wars Force Awakens is Kylo Ren. And last but not least, which I have in this special case, because this one was hard to find, is of course, Boba Fett. And I've also got this case right here that he's in, which was basically like a dollar at my local GameStop. So again, there is Boba Fett. If the camera will focus. Put this on here. And boom, now you got a Christmas ornament. <laughs> And uh, that's basically it. So I got all those for a really good deal. And to try to make you, I guess, guess a little bit, um, pretty much all that I spent right here pretty much cost what this jacket cost me over at Disneyland, which, of course, is a Bubba Fett jacket. Or hoodie, if you will. There you guys go. So feel free to take a guess as to how much this hoodie was at Disneyland because the price of this hoodie basically was the price of everything else that was around me that I showcased in this video in total. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.